Well, as we remember the 21st anniversary of the 9-11 terror attacks and one year after the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, a whistleblower reveals some startling news. Afghan refugees were not properly vetted when they were evacuated to the United States, and some were on the terrorist watch list. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales joins us now with more. Eric? Well, good evening, Tracy. You know, I've learned the Department of Defense whistleblower has, in fact, brought evidence to both Senators Ron Johnson and Josh Hawley. Now, some of that evidence has, in fact, been turned over to the Department of Defense Inspector General. Now, Senator Hawley says he reviewed that evidence and he found it just shocking. As many as 324 men and women who are on the terror watch list were brought over from Afghanistan are now on U.S. soil and their whereabouts are unknown. We all remember these pictures from last August of the Biden administration's botched withdrawal from Afghanistan. Those trying to get out of the country ran alongside or even clinged on to military transport planes leaving Kabul. Some held on to the planes while they took off, eventually falling to their deaths. In this letter obtained by EWTN News Nightly, Senators Josh Hawley and Ron Johnson asked acting DOD Inspector Sean O'Donnell to investigate allegations that, quote, 324 individuals evacuated from Afghanistan were allowed to enter the United States, despite appearing on the DOD's biometrically enabled watch list. The list identifies individuals determined by analysis to be threats or potential threats to national security, including known suspected terrorists. The whistleblower also gave evidence showing, quote, political appointees at the National Security Council and DOD instructed agency personnel to cut corners when processing evacuees in Afghanistan. We've just been lied to by this administration over and over. They said oh, we followed the vetting procedures. No, they haven't. Uh, they said we did in-person interviews. No, they didn't in the vast majority of cases. We know that for a fact now. And now it seems that uh, there are potentially hundreds of terrorists. Senator Hawley tells me Congress needs to act now, and the FBI, who's in charge of finding these known terrorists, must chase down these individuals. We could literally have another 9-11. You think about it, it only took a handful of hijackers for 9-11. I mean, we're talking about 300 plus people. Uh, it's just unconscionable. As we know, today is uh, Afghanistan is back under Taliban rule, and that means that women and children's rights have been stripped, in particular young girls. They're not allowed to go to school anymore. Now, Senator Hawley, along with 22 other Republicans, have introduced another bill to create a task force within the State Department to try and get the Americans that are still there in Afghanistan out of the country. It's estimated around 200 are still in Afghanistan. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN, News Nightly.